Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer, and thank you for your statement, Cabinet Secretary, which uh, certainly represents a step in the right direction. Um, the statement's entitled Recruitment of Teachers, um, but I can't really see where you're talking about recruitment of teachers generally in addressing the fundamental problems that have been identified with recruiting teachers into Wales. Um, I see three concrete announcements in the statement. Uh, the first being the Welsh Medium Incentive, which I think is a great idea. It's only right and proper that Welsh Government should encourage education through the medium of Welsh. And we're well acquainted with the in this chamber with the shortage of those teachers. Um, obviously, I fully support your objective on this, as I do your measure to introduce computer science to qualify for, the, for, for a higher incentive. Um, coming to the, um, the, the funding for schools-based cluster arrangements, um, this does sound like a really good idea, um, but there's, there's no detail. I know you've given some detail um, today, Cabinet Secretary, but there's very little, de no detail in your statement itself. Um, so, you know, if pupils and schools are able to build working relationships with a regular set of supply teachers, instead of the supply teacher offering offered and being a total stranger, that's much better for the supply teacher, the school and the pupils. So how do you, ex how do you <clears throat> envisage the clusters working in practice? Of, you know, are the, are the, the, do you foresee the local authority, is it be a cluster per local authority or are the local authorities going to cluster? To, how, is it, how is it actually going to work on the ground as you see it? Um, I note that the, you want to employ um, a, a bank of, of, of supply teachers, which I think, again, like I said, is a, is a good idea. Um, but we don't want to want newly qualified teachers to end up as long-term supply teachers. So I, I would like to see some sort of proposal um, or to hear about what work you're doing to, to you know, to, to make sure that doesn't happen. I mean, obviously, as a, working as a supply teacher is going to be a very useful way for a newly qualified teacher to pick up experience. So I'm not going to knock the supply teacher route at all. Um, You've said, and you've, 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 it's been covered a little bit already, that, that only 15 local authorities um, involving 86 schools are being funded to run this cluster arrangement. I kind of gather from the conversations today that it's a pilot. Um, but, you know, what are the criteria going, what's the criteria going to be for you awarding the funding? You've, you've, you've specified a pot of 2.7 million. How's that going to be apportioned between the clusters? Um, who's going to make the decision about how much each cluster gets um, and what are the, how's it actually going to work? Are these local authorities going to have to apply for the funding or are you going to make, make a decision based on certain criteria and in that case what, criteria, what is the criteria likely to be? Um, do you think as well that you're likely to roll this system out to the local authorities that currently aren't being covered? Um, okay, it, it concerns me that according to EWC figures, um, over 80% of newly registered teachers in Wales are working on a fixed term or supply basis. I don't see any measures to address this in your statement, so I'd, I'd perhaps you could say a little bit um, in response to, to that. Um, I don't see any proposals to address a negative publicity about the quality of training in Wales um, or the perception of students that the profession is getting harder and that the profession is unattractive. Those aren't my words, those are the words of the EWC, by the way. Um, it, it's, you know, it, the number of new registrations for school teachers is lower in this year than it's ever been since 2004. Um, and although this statement does claim to be announcing in, innovative solutions to the problem, aside from the three measures already discussed that there isn't much else so I, I would like I would like to hear what work you what other work you're doing to, to address the fundamental problems and disincentives to training teachers in Wales that have been identified by the EWC and, and, and others thank you Cabinet Secretary. Uh, thank you for those set of uh, questions um, it is important that we uh, prioritize uh, those 
who will go on to be our teachers in our bilingual and Welsh medium schools. That's why uh, Welsh is a priority subject for incentives, attracting the highest level of incentives to go on to a PGCE. We're also announcing today, as, uh, as you have referenced, a new scheme uh, which will be a payment uh, on the successful completion of QTS uh, with a second payment uh, made to those graduates on the successful completion of their induction year within a Welsh school. So this is not money up front, this is about incentivising people to actually finish their course and go on to actually teach in, 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 a, in a school. So this is not just about paying them to do the course, this is about incentivising people then to actually get into our uh, classrooms. Um, you made a very important point about how we can move people uh, from the QTS scheme onto permanent uh, positions. What we do know is that QTS, newly qualified teachers, do make up a significant part of our supply teaching uh, load and therefore it's really important to get them onto a successful trajectory for the start of their teaching career and hopefully that experience going into schools gives them the best possible chance of securing permanent employment uh, in a school should that, should that be what they want to do. 